The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to those who were convinced of their own righteousness and despised everybody else. Two people went up to the temple area to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other was a tax collector. The Pharisee took up his position and spoke this prayer to himself. Oh God, I thank you that I am not like the rest of humanity, greedy, dishonest, adulterous, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes on my whole income. But the tax collector stood off at a distance. He would not even raise his eyes to heaven, but he beat his breast and he said, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, the latter went home justified, not the former. For whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and the one who humbles himself will be exalted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I notice that we have a nice group of young people over here, so I'm going to come over. And I want to ask you who you are and why are you here? We're the Grand Rapids Catholic Central football team, and we're here for Team Mass. Grand Rapids football team here for Team Mass. And uh, what would you like us to pray for? The people on the streets. Thank you. Another prayer? For everybody. Okay, great. Great, and thank you. Welcome to you. <clears throat> I recently saw a show last night on PBS. It's a wonderful show about Hamilton. Hamilton, I can see that some of you have seen it. It's a great show about Alexander Hamilton and about our founding fathers and founding mothers of this country. And it's really interesting because it's done as a multiracial, multi-ethnic cast. And so the founding fathers and mothers were represented by black, by Latino, by Anglo people. So there's a multiracial, multi-ethnic cast. And the inspiration for the music and the dance comes from African Americans, from the contribution African Americans have made to American society, especially in music, the gospel, music, blues, R&B, hip hop, rap, jazz. And you see the founding fathers rapping about the ideas they had about creating this very interesting country, creating a federal system and a representative democracy that's the rival, there, there is no rival in the world to the system that was created in this country. And so there are great things about America. But another thing you see in this play is that these founding fathers who wrote about justice and liberty for all they held slaves. How do you put this together? That those who created this federal and uh, system that we have of representative democracy, how do you put that together with the uh, Declaration of Independence? We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal and endowed with certain inalienable rights. Among these, the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Great, everybody knows that, right? So please say along with me. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed with certain inalienable rights, among these being the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Beautiful, thank you. Let's think about uh, America, the greatest aspects of America land of prosperity, of openness, of creativity, a can-do spirit, welcoming the foreigner, 
and uh, em emphasizing and encouraging the spirit of innovation and creativity and hard work. This is the great thing about America. And I want to ask you, uh, I'm going to ask a few of you, what do you think are the greatest things about America, or one great thing about America? I'm going to come right here to Frank. There we have, one of the greatest things is we have choice, we have freedom to make our choices. Thank you, Frank. And Nancy? That we have a democracy where we get to choose our leaders. Great, thank you. So there are a lot of great things about America, but there is a nastiness that's coming out in our national discussions as well. A sense of defensiveness, of uh, criticizing the foreigner, the immigrant among us, of treating certain groups with contempt. Uh, and this also is coming out in our national debate. And so why is it that sometimes we become righteous, self-righteous and we reject those who are different than ourselves? So Jesus tells us this parable today to help us understand that. He tells a parable to the people, he says, that uh, these people who are self-righteous but who hold others in contempt. That was his audience of this parable. And he says, two men went up to the temple to pray. One of them, a Pharisee, prayed like this. And the Pharisee praised himself for all the great things he does. But the Pharisees also were very exclusive. They created a system of rules that almost nobody could follow. And then those that couldn't live up to their high behavior standards, they just rejected them. They said, no, they don't belong. The widow, the orphan, the alien, the sick, the lame, the foreigner, none of these people belong. So they create a sense of rejection towards everybody that is not like themselves. And then the publican, he prays, Lord, oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. The publican uh, knows what he does. He works for the Romans. And before the Romans, he extracts taxes from his own people. And then he adds his commission on top of that. So it was a system ripe with corruption. He could have been extracting lots of money from his friends and neighbors because he worked for the occupying army. But he knew his sin, and so he asked for forgiveness. Those two men went up to the temple to pray, but only one of them was justified. One moment. <clears throat> The problem was the attitude of the Pharisee. And the attitude was, I'm great and nobody can measure up. And the attitude that is coming out in our national discourse is also very nasty. The, the thoughts that immigrants are not welcome, that foreigners are scared, or we're scared of foreigners. We actually fear our neighbor. We fear the worst. We become self-righteous, and we reject all those that are not part of us. So these two competing attitudes are happening in our society. I heard a wonderful story that came out last year that Alex Brassard and Alec Edwards, two teenagers living in Muskegon, and they noticed smoke pouring out of the window of their neighbor's house. And so they went over, not, and not fearing for themselves, they smashed the ground floor window, they climbed into the house. They found out the stove was, the food on the stove had started burning because the man who was cooking fell asleep and the fire had spread in the kitchen. So one of them, Alec Edwards, he grabbed the fire extinguisher. He started putting out the flames. The other one, Alex Broussard, dragged Kurt Brown through the window. Big guy, he must have had adrenaline and lots of strength in that moment to drag him to safety. When the fire department came, they saw the fire was out and the man had been rescued. And not only did they save his life, but because the fire could have spread to the rest of the apartment complex, they saved a lot of lives that day. And they had the typical American spirit of, well, we just did what we thought was right. What a great example of the America that we want, the spirit of America, of caring for your neighbor, of 
putting your own life in danger of doing just what you think is right because the situation is before you. What kind of spirit of America do we want? Edward James Olmos, who played uh, in Stand and Deliver, he played Jaime Escalante, who taught the kids of East Los Angeles, Garfield High School, how to do calculus. Imagine kids that nobody thought they could do math at all, and they learned calculus, and they placed well in the AP exam. And Edward James almost talks about caring for each other, caring for our country. And he says, when you have put the children to bed, and you're walking around the house, and you're putting out the lights, you get to the front door, he says, don't lock it right away. Open up that front door. Look outside. Turn to your left and see, is your neighbor all right? And then turn to your right and see, is your neighbor all right? And then if they are, then close the door, lock it, turn off the lights, and go to bed. That is the spirit of America.